Who you rolling with? A History of the Zulu Social Aid and Pleasure Club by Cam Neal. Background in club history. African-Americans after the Civil War were not able to participate in New Orleans carnival celebrations. Because of this, the formation of social aid and pleasure clubs were formed in order for African-Americans to properly bury their own people and properly attend different social events around the city. Because of the African-American rules on carnival against, uh, well, against African-Americans uh, prohibiting them for celebrating in carnival, the creation of the Zulu Social Aid and Pleasure Club was formed in order for a way for Blacks to properly be included. Now, the parading history. King Zulu was revealed on a skiff on the first parade in 1919 on the New Basin Canal mocking King Rex. Now the parade was meant to mock King Rex's arrival on the Mississippi River because African Americans were not allowed to participate in the grandiose celebration. The historically route the, the historical route of the Zulu Social Aid and Pleasure Club went through black neighborhoods in New Orleans, and that route serviced bars that financed those floats as recognition. At these bars were certain stands for different patrons to pay their homage and also get a nice cold drink or make patronage with these different places of establishment. Now the route changed after the Civil Rights Act was passed and it allowed the Zulu Social Aid and Pleasure Club to have more exposure within New Orleans to different eyes. Crew politics. Zulu Social Aid and Pleasure Club Mardi Gras Court has a leadership hierarchy. It involves a king, queen, uh, handmaid, court, et cetera. The members stay campaign in carnival off season and it culminates in a big election around Memorial Day. Now the members are crowned during the coronation ball right before Mardi Gras in order to show off the crown jewels that they've earned for the year. Now, luckily in 1949, Louis Armstrong was crowned King Zulu. He didn't need an election. And because of this, it was pictured in Time Magazine for the whole world to see exactly how African-Americans celebrated Carnival in New Orleans. Now, its members engage in community and volunteer events. They are known to, to also be a hold of different drives, different charity events, and also to have a big hand in helping New Orleans move financially forward. Now, they aren't without controversy, though. Initially, their cultural costuming has had a backlash from its inception. They've been known to don Afro wigs, grass skirts, and also the the problematic, the, the quote unquote problematic blackface. Luckily for the Zulu Social Aid and Pleasure Club, it isn't problematic as it is seen as more of an homage to the African Americans that were not able to properly celebrate Carnival as they got to New Orleans after the Civil War. Now, the membership dwindled after the Civil Rights Movement as the new Black era began to pick pace. And luckily, the King, during the 1970, 1973 era, excuse me, the Civil Rights era, was able to bounce back those numbers back to a great, great membership number level. Now, one of their prized possessions that have been thrown, also known as the coconuts, came under liability during the late 80s as different insurance companies began to drop out their liability claims for the Zulu Social Aid and Pleasure Club. Because of this, the Zulu Social Aid and Pleasure Club has a bill that was signed by the Louisiana legislature that indemnifies anyone from being held accountable for any coconut related liabilities. That goes for any patrons getting hurt or anybody on the street that is getting hurt. The only, the only catch is that no members can toss any coconuts from the second floor and they can't toss them overhand. Everyone has to be passed on the first floor. In conclusion, the Zulu Social Aid and Pleasure Club has had a great influence on New Orleans and is its greater need for African-American representation. Because of its inception in the 1900s, 
the Zulu Social Aid and Pleasure Club has grown for has grown across the city as being one of the major super crews to watch for during Mardi Gras. They have also been known for their philanthropy and different efforts as far as inclusion of African Americans. And the cultural importance of the organization can be felt all around the world as Zulu Social Aid and Pleasure Clubs are still one of the main parades people flock to see and one of the main crews people love to hear. <laughs> 